we're pushing this no, no, no standard, no nothing. And you can do that. But at the end of the day, men are the consumers and men aren't buying it. Yeah. Because, see, here's the thing. You can be an average, acute looking woman. And and years ago, you could have got a man, a husband. A, but now when you are trying to put on someone else's hair, uh, put on some, even if you don't do that, but just the, the weight is doing a lot, man. I can't say in the black man, the weight is doing a lot because... I have women who are calling in who don't even realize that it's an issue. I had a woman call in the other day, and I said, ma'am, at your height and your weight, I mean, no offense, ma'am, but you're the size of a middle linebacker. And she said, no, I'm not. I'm like, and I went and pulled up Lawrence Taylor. Mm -hmm. NFL great. I'm like, and I was like, he's four inches taller than you. She was shocked. So um, how do we get this back on track? Well, when four out of five of our sisters are overweight and no one can tell you nothing, I don't know who can get through to them. Um, it's going, we have to start having women be honest with each other. Because when you're raised in our, in our culture, mom leaves the house. So they may hear it from me, but until women start actually having, let's just use it, Thoughtful, respectful conversations about, hey, we need to probably do this for our own health, for men or whatever. Because men don't care why you do it. We just want it there. Uh, because here's the thing. Men can't turn off, off and on their produ their provider. Mm -hmm. If a man falls on hard times, stop perform or producing, we can judge him. Mm -hmm. And if, if a man's not masculine, we can judge him. Well, we got to have that standard back up for men and women. And um, the question is... Uh, are people really willing to do it? And I honestly have more faith that they are than they're not. That's a great point. And I think one of the challenges is with this hookup generation, the problem is a lot of women confuse um, sexual attention <laughs> from long-term retention, right? Yep. They, they confuse that because somebody's willing to have sex with you. That doesn't necessarily mean that paying person will marry you. And that's a lot of times the mm -hmm. case. So, from your personal experience, if you're advising a young woman who wants to be married, what are some of the things that men are looking for in a woman if they're desiring long-term marriage and relationship? Um, well, one of the biggest things is outside of the weight, the fitness. Fitness has, fitness is just a standard requirement of all men. Um, like you said, don't confuse short-term access with long-term commitment. When I talk about getting a high-value man, I even try to turn it to getting a high-value husband because it, people are equating the two. Then the second one, this one's going to hurt. Ch no children. 51% mm. uh, of black men are single and childless. 64% of them are in the middle class. We've been told that, you know, all these, all these other things. But if a man doesn't have children, he doesn't want to necessarily raise another man's children. I say, ladies, understand, women tell men what you think they deserve by your looks and your weight. So what do you tell them in they think what you think they deserve? So the looks, the lack of children, and then here's the other thing. It, they talk, we talk about femininity, beauty, inspiration, all that. Really, it's cooperation. Men just want you to be cooperative. Can you work with me? Work with me. Uh, and that's what more, more than anything else. Now, I say women are great with their feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. I have a higher standard because... I feel like that you, if you want the best, you should be the best. You should not want a man who is a master of the universe and he's just getting a, you know, he has to work to become that. Are you a, an appropriate reward or appropriate prize for that catch? Um, let me see if I can shorten it down. Ladies, are you going into your relationships with men in good faith? And are you in it for the long call? Are you in, or is it, I'm here, but as soon as this happens or that happens, I'm out. If you're going, we have too many people who are not entering into it with good faith because for whatever reason. That's why I recommend therapy so much. Mm -hmm. One of the things I recommend is therapy is because we come from a culture that has been fractured and never had a chance to heal. Mm -hmm. But the world doesn't owe us understanding. Yeah. You didn't have your daddy, I didn't have my daddy, whatever, whatever. Okay, so what? You're a grown person. You know you got issues, go get some cult, some therapy. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to work with, get somebody to work with you, and you need to know 
at least have that clean bill of mental health. And it's don't wait until a crisis. And even if you think you're okay, just go get a tune-up. Just go see. Mm -hmm. And I think that would do us more benefit. And then the other side, for ladies, so many men will say, ladies, your only interaction with men tends to be in a short-term hookup kind of thing. you got to become far more curious about men. You don't even understand who men are, what men want. You, I, what, what you think they want is just in the bedroom, and there's far more to it because there are men who are willing to accept a, a lot different things from a woman. At the end of the day, between any man and any woman, there's always going to be a unique relationship. But they both got to feel like they're getting something out of it to want to stay in it for the long term. No, I, I, I really I really love that point. And similar to what we talked about with the men, and, and uh, my friend Stefan, he, he does a really good job of really breaking the bossier? Down. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He does a really great job because I think sometimes with the women, you have to use a male example for a woman to get the woman example, right? So if there's a guy who's broke, at his mom's house, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Why? Where are the good women at?" Mm -hmm. Most women will be clear as day and be like, "Well, right. get a job, get off your feet, get your own place, and then try now." Right. So to me, it's uncomfortable. We have to be honest. The the financial stability equivalent to most men, to me, would be the the weight. Mm -hmm. That weight for a lot of women, if they would get and, and the and I think the my number one message is, is about your best. Yes. Wait. It's not about being a size zero. It's not mm -hmm. being a, a runway model. Is what's the healthiest, best weight for you? Because even if you really watch your content, mm -hmm. you're you tell some women that look, you're you're working out, so you can hold 160 a little mm -hmm. bit better. So sometimes it's not even about the numbers; it's about you being in your best shape. Right. And so I feel as though what needs to happen is that. It, both men and women have to be honest about what the other party's asking from us and not so much get mad at people for telling us the truth. It, and here's the thing. We should have declared a national emergency of black community on, on eight, two decades ago. Um, until we really start being honest about it, because it is having detrimental effects. 